Well, hey, welcome back, everybody. So today we're uh, doing something a little different. We're out here uh, just on Lake Mountain uh, looking for a limonite acetamorph after pyrite. It's a, uh, it looks like that. Now this is just freshly dug. I haven't had a chance to clean it up and stuff. So at the end of the video, I'm going to post some pictures of everything that I've uh, cleaned up. I also, to the north of me, was uh, looking this morning, and I got some photos of, it's called uh, Banded Calcite Onyx. And that's pretty neat. Uh, there is a lot of calcite out there. They look like really cool little crystals. So, uh, like I said, this is going to be a couple short videos this week until my big adventure uh, two weeks from today uh, out at the gold fields. So, welcome uh, back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, leave them down there in the bottom. And uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so this is, uh, this is where I'm at. And this is kind of what I've been doing for the last little bit. I come into here and I start sampling and seeing what I can find. And I'm starting to find some really, really small pieces. I'm starting to work back and just uh, going along here. So what I do is the equipment that I brought today is I have a little scoop like this. And then I have a uh, little rock handing hammer. So what I'll do is I'll come through and I will hammer, and it's not very, you know, it's very soft. I'll just loosen it up like that, and then what I'll do is I'll scoop it up, and I'll put it into a quarter mesh Garrett screen. Move around like this, and then what I start looking for, and I've already went through this, this is where I just found that one. And I start going through and I start looking for, it's almost like a brown matrix, and they're square. Every once in a while you'll find a round one, it looks like it's called a decahedron. And I've actually found two of them out here, they're very quite small. So, not seeing any more in there. There will be some uh, host rock, some limestone and stuff like this on them. So you just have to have a uh, just a little bit of an eye for looking for something square. So then I just dump it out. And then since I've already done that, I'll pull some of this big stuff out. Now this dirt right here that I'm going through is still a little damp. So I'm getting a little more clods than normal out here. But let's see what we can see what we can find. But, Go through the obvious, don't see anything. There's one right there. And you can see the host rock. And see this one's got a little brown and a red tint to it, but it's square. Like I said, once I get home, we'll clean it up. So I'm gonna keep digging this out. If I find something really cool, I'll uh, show you guys here in a bit. So everybody, I was just uh, classifying or shaking all this out. A little rock here. But I see this little glimmer of stuff, so I started chipping out a little bit. It is a uh, entire matrix of uh, limonite. So when I get home, I'll brush it and clean it up. Now, once I brush it, if I want to keep it in the matrix, I won't... Uh, I won't use a vinegar solution. Just all depends on how it looks when I start to wash it off and clean it up. But I wanted to show you that. that's a pretty cool, that's a good chunk. I mean, that's that's a three finger. So, and we're ju I'm just, just doing it right along here. I'm just taking it slow. I'm probably about eight inches down now. I'm starting to get into this, uh, this more of an orange type of stuff and I'm getting out of the uh, the tans. So I'm going to finish going through this in here and see if I have anything else. So I just uh, just found this one. I brushed it off just a little bit. Just rubbing on my pants so you guys can see just a single cube 
but that is what uh, what we're after and that's the color that uh, is out here and this is a uh, limonite pseudomorph after pyrite okay so I want to show you guys so you see I've been cutting this trench down and I'm, I'm down into some more of a, a harder pack and that's where I've been finding them lately finding some smalls right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm coming back now I know for the most part in this top top little bit there isn't any but you never you never know so what I end up doing is I'll scrape it down with this little shovel just, just go over the surface and just slowly slowly do this and what that does is it clears it to where I need it to where I'm gonna start chipping now while I'm moving the shovel I'm just looking at the stuff on the ground see if I see anything that resembles what I'm looking for and then you can see where I'm at I use a shelf I make basically I make shelves of all my tailings and then after it makes a pile I just like like this I'll just take my hand and I'll just just take about a half an inch See. Found a little surface one. So I'll take, just take my hand, just like this, and I make it flat again. Then I set my screen on there, and then I take my scoop shovel, shovel some in, and then I'll screen it. But because I'm moving now more this direction, down this way, so what I'm gonna do now is I've cleared off a spot. I'm gonna excavate all that, I'll dig it, I'll sift it, and I'll probably go down to that level, and if I start hitting them hard again, then I'll just keep going down. If I start to lose a lot, then I'll just slowly move again. But you can see what I've excavated so far. And so everybody, I uh, just wanted to show you, I came over to another area and I'm excavating right along this. I've been pulling out some pretty good, good pieces. So what I'm gonna do is everything's still embedded in the, uh, in the calcite and the limestone. So when I get home, I'll clean them up and I'll just take a bunch of pictures of all the finds today. But what I'm doing is just going through, sifting everything. I'm doing visual inspections. I just kind of, once I get the, get the uh, little mound, I just go through it and visually inspect and just kind of break up some of these clods. And that's how I'm finding the limestone. So it's been a, it's been a good day out here. So, getting ready to pack everything up and, uh, and go home with it. So like I said, I'm gonna go home, clean everything up. I'm gonna show you guys the limonite, uh, pseudomorph after pyrite. That's what these little uh, square pieces are. And I've got different, different pieces. I mean, I've got big pieces, little pieces, pieces with pieces in it. I've got some clusters. I've got some that are still in the host rock. So there's, there's a plethora of, of some really neat finds that we uh, that I found today. And then I'm also going to show you guys the calcite crystals that I found and also the banded calcite onyx. Um, I found some really, really, really big rocks. And so what I ended up taking is a, a chisel and chiseling out some specimen pieces uh, where, where it's located just to try to get some rock that's the size of a Volkswagen back to the vehicle. Just... It ain't gonna happen. I'm just just telling you it ain't gonna happen But it's been really nice coming out here, and it's this is for open to the public anybody can come out here um, I'll leave a description about the limonite pseudomorph after pyrite in the description I'll also leave a description about the uh, banded calcite onyx in the description and it's in the same area. I'll leave a dis uh, Directions to come out here. So if anybody wants to come out here and you know experiment and see what you can find i highly recommend you bring water a nice hat a shovel a pick and the best thing i've been using is a uh a sifter uh i do quarter mesh is what i've been using and it's been nice too because you'll always have people out here today a big group of people came in here and i met some really nice people and had an enjoyable conversation with a, with a few folks here so it was uh it's been a very, very enjoyable day, so I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share my, uh, my channel. Have a wonderful day.